Hello everyone. I am Dr. L. Kiran Kumar Reddy, working as a consultant interventional cardiologist at Apollo Spectra Hospitals, Amirpet, Hyderabad. So we had an interesting case of ventricular septal defect device closure from femoral root. This is a five years girl child. She is having difficulty in feeding from birth and having respiratory distress in the form of uh, more breathing and chest in drawing and detected to have ventricular septal defect at the age of one year and later history showed seasonal upper respiratory tract infections frequent upper respiratory tract infections and difficulty in breathing uh, when compared to peers in the school while playing she is on regular follow up with 6 months echo scan showed a decreased in size of the defect but persisted defect present so she consulted us for further management so i'll go to the basics of what is ventricular septal defect here we are seeing these this is the heart inside this is the right upper chamber right lower chamber left upper chamber left lower chamber right upper chambers are called atrium this is left atrium right atrium L uh, lower chambers are called ventricles this is left ventricle and right ventricle so this ventricular septal defect is a small defect in the bridge between the two ventricles so in through this defect the blood flows from the left side to the right side of the heart so it is a birth defect of the heart in which there is a hole in the wall that is this is this is the wall between two chambers that is called a septum that separates the two lower chambers of the heart so this defect causes mixing of the blood so from left left to right heart there is a flow of the blood flow from the left to right heart and this causes the heart to pump to work and pump harder and slowly with this more increased blood flow through through the heart lead to increased pressures in the pulmonary arteries so the pulmonary arteries are connected to the right ventricle and causes irreversible damage if this is not treated so usually the children may have trouble in breathing delay in catch up growth recurrent upper respiratory tract infections small defects like less than 2 mm or 3 mm may close with increasing age but it requires close monitoring by regular follow up 2d echocardiograms but the large defect requires closure by transcatheter closure by a small device that is a small device is taken from the femoral uh, femoral artery from the groin and it that small plug is kept across the hole or can be done by surgical closure with a patch open heart surgery by by keeping a patch across the defect to close the hole so this is our case we are seeing here this is the jet from left ventricle to the right ventricle here this is a small defect we will call it as perimembranous vsd the flow is from left heart to the right ventricle this is another view echocardiogram showing the blood flowing from the left heart to the right heart so we plan to do device closure for this patient as it is amenable to device closure without the need of ventricular uh, without the need of open heart surgery so from right groin from the arterial root we had taken the catheter and kept in the left ventricle and injection done showed a hole in the heart across the septum connecting the two ventricles so this is the left ventricle and this is the blood flow coming into the right ventricle we measured the defect size around 4 mm then we crossed the defect from the left ventricle to the right ventricle and we brought out the wire to the right atrium and then from the venous side we snared this wire and we exteriorized the wire and then a sheath placed in the aorta then a device small device is placed in the aorta and the device is pulled back across the defect and the device is deployed across the defect this is the device and device is deployed across the defect this is the angiogram that with the defect in uh, with the device in across the defect there is diminished flow immediately after placing the device 
we confirmed by echocardiogram there is no much flow across the defect so we released the device so we released the device and this is angiogram taken after releasing the device so we are seeing here there is no flow across the this device which is placed across the septum so we completely seal that hole so there is no blood going from left heart to right heart so we successfully done the procedure deployed the device and closed the defect this is another angiogram to rule out any further complications there are no complications so we successfully closed the hole across the two ventricles by keeping a small device and patient is doing well immediate post op period and discharged in a stable condition this is the post op echo after keeping a device we are seeing the device across the defect here yeah, there is no flow across the defect and there is no regurgitation or aortic wall damage also this resulted in successful device closure thank you this is dr l kiran kumar reddy working as a interventional cardiologist at apollo spectro hospitals amirpet hyderabad so we are expertized in all types of coronary stenting primary angioplasty in acute heart attacks left main vessel stenting bifurcation stenting chronic total occlusion stenting and with advanced technology utilizing ivs and oct imaging and regulating balloons we also do pacemakers icds and crt cardiac ring therapy and we do structural heart interventions like balloon valvoplasty tabi and heart wall device closure and other peripheral angiograms interventions ivs filter and even for aortic interventions thank you thank you one and all